Think audiophiles and apartments can't coexist? Think again. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our product reviews and how-tos. And click the cute little bell to be notified when we post new content. So maybe you're downsizing from a house to an apartment. Maybe you had to convert your listening room into a home office. Or maybe your spouse no longer wants to look at loudspeakers in the living room. Whatever the reason, you need to ditch your stereo system. But instead of mourning what you're losing, it's time to get excited about the possibilities of a space-saving headphone setup. If you already own headphones or IEMs, that's in-ear monitors, great. If you need help choosing a pair, we have a great resource called Headphones 101, which we've linked below. One thing to keep in mind when choosing headphones for small space living is whether other people will be in your vicinity when you are jamming out to your favorite tunes. If you're in a small space and you don't want the sound from your headphones to be audible to other people, you'll want to look at closed back headphones, which have sealed ear cups that will keep the sound in. Open back headphones, on the other hand, will bleed sound. That doesn't make them a deal breaker for a shared living situation, it's just something to keep in mind. Now for headphone listening, you'll need to decide what your source will be. Your source is simply where your music is coming from. Depending on your specific living situation and audio goals, this might be something like a handheld digital audio player or DAP. But don't let the size mislead you, as you can achieve maximum audio enjoyment from the smallest of music players. Now, let's take a look at some source scenarios. We're not going to talk about every recommended product here or get too much into product specs, but you can check out our written Audiophiles and Apartments article linked below for much more. First off, let's say you want to use your phone, tablet, or laptop as your audio source. That's absolutely doable. Provided that your device is capable of powering your headphones, you technically don't need anything else. Except for the best sound, you'll want something else. Computers and mobile devices don't typically have very good DACs or digital to analog converters, which you need for enjoying digital music. And their amplifiers are often too weak to drive high performance headphones, leaving your music sounding less than stellar. Your headphones will simply sound better with an upgraded DAC headphone amp. The good news is that you can use a small USB DAC or a battery powered one that takes up no space at all, but will make your headphones sound exponentially better. So first, you could opt for something like the Claris Coda USB DAC headphone amp. This petite powerhouse will deliver higher than CD quality. The Coda is also an MQA renderer. When paired with an MQA core decoder from some media players and streaming services, the Coda's renderer delivers the full MQA experience. The Coda features a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a USB-A input, two button volume control, and a choice of three roll off filters. For a battery option, we recommend something like the recently released Cord Mojo 2 DAC headphone amp. We love Cord products for their phenomenal DAC quality. The Mojo 2 offers several ways to connect to digital devices, including smartphones, tablets, and laptops, plus two 3.5 millimeter headphone outputs, meaning that two people can listen simultaneously. Digital inputs include fast transfer USB-C, micro USB, optical and coaxial, with charging via a separate dedicated micro USB input. The Mojo features battery life around eight hours and advanced EQ adjustment. Plus, it's wireless ready and can be paired with the Cord Poly for streaming. Now, let's say you want to buy a dedicated music player that will allow you to listen to your headphones at home or on the go. With a portable DAP or digital audio player, you can stream music or listen to your own stored content wherever you are. Don't let their small size deter you. Portable DAPs are plenty capable of delivering big, bold, audiophile quality sound. 
Here, we've got a few options from Estellan Kern and iBaso. Now, any Astell & Kern or iBaso DAP can work as a standalone digital player and as a DAC for your computer or laptop. Furthermore, if you want to use Rune for high-res streaming, all A and K DAPs are Rune ready. If you want to learn more about Rune, check out our Rune Complete Guide, which we've linked below. So here, for example, we've got the Estell & Kern SR25 Mark II. We love the number of features you get at this price point. It's got 64 gigabytes of internal storage, up to a one terabyte micro SD card slot, 3.6 inch HD touchscreen, 20 hours of playback, and both balanced and unbalanced headphone outputs. We love its compact size and detailed sound. Let's say you've got a bit of horizontal space, you want to use your computer as your source, and you don't mind running cables. So you get a DAC headphone amp and connect it via a direct USB connection. We've got some wonderful options at a range of price points. For example, here's the TIAC UD505, which is their flagship dual monaural USB DAC with versatile network playback capabilities. The UD505 offers high-res audio playback supporting DSD-512 and 32-bit 768 kHz PCM. The balanced headphone amplifier is designed to bring out the maximum potential in your headphones. Headphone outputs include dual quarter-inch TRS jacks and a 4.5mm 5-polar pentagon jack. You also get five types of PCM digital filters and two types of DSD digital filters. Plus, there's an analog line input if you want to use it as a preamplifier. Now, what if you want to use your laptop as your source without having to run a USB cable? Picture it. You're on the sofa with your laptop and your music player is nestled on a side table, tucked away on a shelf, or otherwise out of view. Now you can control it wirelessly with your iPhone, iPad, or Android device using the player's proprietary app or with Rune. Now here we've got some more options from TIAC, but I'd like to talk to you about the Bercosti M3H. It's unique in the headphone amp market as it is truly balanced all the way through the signal chain. Right and left channel circuit boards and power supplies are all separate from start to finish. It also provides separate conversions for both PCM and DSD sources and support of all input sources, including network streaming. With the network card, which is $1,000 extra, the M3H is now Rune ready and an endpoint DAC. Of note, there is a balance control, which is a rarity these days in a headphone amp. We find this to be a very important feature. For customers with hearing imbalance, this can help to get them centered with the singer when utilizing headphones or even speakers. Moving on, let's say you've got a lot of digital audio files to store, but you don't want to keep them on your computer. Now, you're looking at an audio player to which you can plug in a hard drive. We like the Matrix Audio Element series of DAX, headphone amps, streamers. You can plug in a hard drive, then control playback using Matrix's MA remote or Rune. Now, the flagship Element X is our number one selling desktop DAC. It's balanced all the way through and runs a powerful audio playback system that supports all popular formats. Simply connect a USB drive or configure a NAS storage device to browse your music library and enjoy up to 768 kHz PCM and 22.4 MHz DSD. Now for headphone listening, the Element X features a dual mode headphone amplifier consisting of four independent amplifier units. In balanced mode, it can drive a pair of balanced headphones, or in single-ended mode, it can drive two single-ended pairs of headphones, each having its own independent stereo amplifier. Compared to other models in the Element series, the Element X has a superior word clock and a better preamp stage, should you choose to use it as a preamplifier. Now, what if you need a whole lot of storage for a large music collection? If you've got a massive digital music library, a dedicated server as your music manager makes sense. 
In this case, you're upgrading from an add-on hard drive to a server with internal storage and then pairing it with a DAC headphone amp. We really like the Name Unity Atom Headphone Edition, which is an amp, DAC, and music streamer paired with the Name Unity Core music server. We refer to the Name Unity as the kitchen sink when it comes to functionality. This gorgeous device features a five inch full color screen. It features a plethora of inputs and outputs, including 4.4 millimeter Pentagon, four pin XLR, and 6.35 millimeter headphone outputs. You can control it using the Name app or Rune, whichever you like. With the core, you can rip, store, serve, and play your music. You can choose to fit a hard drive or solid state drive with a capacity of up to eight terabytes. That's enough for about 100,000 tracks. Alternately, you can connect an external NAS or network attached storage or a USB connected storage device. NAS and USB storage can also be used as backup locations. The Name app makes it simple to control your Unity core and even link up other music systems around your home in a multi-room setup. Use the app to access all your music, including your favorite radio stations, streaming services, and playlists, and explore artists' discographies and biographies. Now, for a top-end pairing in this category, I'd love to point out the exquisite DCS Bartok DAC headphone amp preamp and music streamer paired with the Orander N20 music server. The Bartok features DCS's proprietary ring DAC, and the headphone amp drives both high and low impedance headphones. The optional expanse feature can be engaged with a wide range of stereo recordings to provide a heightened sense of realism and a greater sense of space and depth when listening with headphones. Playback on the Bartok is through DCS's Mosaic app or Rune. The Orander N20 server allows for user installed HDD or SSD storage up to 16 terabytes. The unit has a gorgeous 8.8 .8 inch full color front panel display that shows the album cover art plus album name and artist. You get a range of high quality digital outputs and you can even add an external word clock if you'd like. The linear power supply for the N20 utilizes two transformers, four cores, large audio grade capacitors and isolated grounding. It is extremely sophisticated and dead quiet. Control for the N20 is through the feature packed Orander conductor app. The Bartok plus N20 is just a phenomenal combination. Finally, let's say you want a cream of the crop one box solution. I'm talking about multifunctional machines that include storage. They're not displayed here, but we're talking about the Orander A20 and A30. Now the A30 caching music streamer server is the flagship model from Orander's range of analog output digital music players. Orander has designed the A30 to be the comprehensive digital focal point of your system, providing features not often associated with a typical music server, including functions like CD ripping, a high quality headphone amplifier, 10 terabytes of internal storage, full MQA decoder technology, an ultra wide color LCD display, and an integrated software suite of metadata editing and library management tools. Meanwhile, the A20 shares the same basic circuitry topologies, DAC chipset, and form factor as the A30. However, it does away with the CD ripping functionality and metadata editing software, and it provides just a single standard quarter inch headphone jack. By being scaled back, the A20 will appeal to the digital music lover whose library is already digitized and who wants a full fledged high performance streamer server, preamplifier, DAC, and headphone amplifier. The A20 can be customized to your needs in terms of storage capacity and type. Each of two trays on the rear panel can accommodate a hard drive or solid state drive up to 16 terabytes total. So there you have it, multiple options for getting started with a headphone setup for small space living. To learn more, check out our blog, which we've linked below. We've also linked individual reviews for some of the products mentioned here. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. 
And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest audiophile news and reviews. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.